Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We've gone straight into the game this time round to try and avoid a few issues. This is game two of Soup A Stars up against SK Gaming in the finals. Best of three. Game one went to SK Gaming. This time round, they're going to be starting on the bottom side of the map, the left hand side of you, Spectator UI. Badger will be playing Chuck in the solo lane. Captain Twig will be playing once again Thor in the jungle. Zeros is going to be mid lane as Kukurkan. Reels will be playing Apollo once again. And Maniac in the support role is Sylvanas. On the other side, it's the superstars. Iraffer in uh, the support role playing, what's a jungler in Europe and a support, Ymir. So he should be a little more familiar with this character, though his Sylvanas was honestly pretty good. Yemen reprising his role on, on her Sio in the middle lane as Vulcan. Does he know that Zeros is the Vulcan player? Anyway. Optics in the jungle on Mercury and Emilito in the solo lane on Ra. A little bit of a uh, standard solo lane pick, but not something to see Emilito pull out too often. So that should be interesting to see. But I'm most interested in this Kukulkin. A lot of people hate him right now. He did get a substantial nerf to his Whirlwind, which honestly was a necessary nerf. Because you put one toe in the tornado and it hurt and took off your half, half your health bar. But it should hurt. Don't put your toes in tornadoes. That's the rule. Now he's useless. <laughs> I don't think he's useless. He's I useless. Think... No, because you still hit an ultimate. You hit that Spirit, Spirit of the Nine Winds, and he's not useless. He's useless. We'll find out in this game anyway. If Zeros can make him non-useless, then I, I may change my standing in the Diamond on Dragon. Cool, cool can. Anyway, mid harpies have been started up as to be expected. Pretty much standard. Apart from Raph is going to be doing those back harpies. Brought to us by the good man in Continentia. Actually starting to filter down to all the support players around all the regions now. To give himself the quicker level 2 advantage as well. And we can see the mid lane farm off between Zeros and Sayo. As the solo lanes continue doing their blue. That solo lanes doing their blue. will head into that lane. Blue goes on to Badger. And uh, Captain Twig is left without a buff for now. Clear advantage Clearly in favor of the superstars with that Raw and Mercury. Chalk is great in the solo lane and he's got pretty good early clear, but nothing compares to Raw. Talk about early clear because he Maniac and Reels really pushing this lane in and now they're going to invade the red buff. Ymir's going to try and rotate around here with Yami as well, but are they going to be able to get here in time to stop the red buff falling? I do not think so. Sire wasn't even in position too. Reels going to get collapsed on, but Sire needs to watch his own positioning because he knows Zero's going to come around the side. And that's a free pickup and a nice so beautiful from Reels as Sire walks away after losing the red buff. That's a ton of poke on the Sayo. He does have his last health pot going, so he'll regenerate 250 health over the course of that. Zeros in the middle lane has to be in... <laughs> he has to be careful or he's going to be in trouble. Boys, the Magma Bomb Tornado on himself. We'll connect on two. Captain Twig coming in. Optics down to just 100 health. And that's going to be some nice assistance coming out of the SK Gaming Jungler to defend the SK Gaming Middle Laner because Old. these rolls are permanent. I'm just saying, Kokokum would have killed him there. Normally. In the old days. At level 3, I okay. don't think two ticks would oh, do yeah. their damage. He, he, he would have killed him. He would have killed him, I'm sure. Now he's going to take the red buff down anyway. That will give him a little bit more power in this lane up against Rosayo on this Vulcan. As Reels and Minnet continue putting pressure onto this duo lane, they generally should have pretty much even wave clear these two. The only difference is Raph is going to get really, really in close to use his Glacial Strike to actually do the damage to clear the, that wave. And in doing so, he sets himself up for a lot of poke. Yeah, though he is leveling it, it is a rank 2 glacial. Oh, hold on, the tower is Irafer. He's going to get a freeze off on Reels, though. Nice, so beautiful hitting onto 2, which uh, is really giving Reels the bang for the buck. Well, the freeze wasn't just for Reels, it was also to stop the minions hitting him as well. Good wall coming out, and with Optics coming in, they can try and go aggressive here. Reels tried to use the moves to get away, did okay at doing it. Maniac's getting slowed down again, that impale into the pillar is going to buy more time for Maniac to get caught out of position oh, no. with Optics here. This is going to be a dead tree. Say goodnight. They deforestation has begun. Your middle tower is under attack. And Reels holding his ground though, he knows he's not in danger, though there is a level 5 on that Mercury, which is going to be impending danger. Right now, Optic's just not ready to fight the SK Gaming Hunter rolling over to the middle lane. Harpies are spawning in about 15 seconds. Kokokin is chilling and getting some farm. And it looks like SK is going to split up and try and secure both camps. Right camp spawning in five, left camp spawning in five.
Oh, here we go. So I was in position to contest Twig on this left one. Right hand ones will go to zeros for free though. And it looks like Twig will give these up. Maybe a look for a double tap. Sonic, Sonic Boom coming in though from Optics. It could be Twig who's in a world of hey, he uses the beast to try and go away, jumps to his hammer. The Vulcan ult is not gonna connect. It was nicely attempted from Sayo. And now Maniac's warded off for the time being. Zeros though with the tornado gonna do a little bit of damage onto Rafa, but not too much to shout home about as here comes Twig again. And I saw actually a great teleport out from Thor. Spirit of the Nine Woods is very easy to connect on an ulting Ymir and took off about 400, 500 in health. So, I don't know. Kukalkin getting an assist there. Hasn't died yet. It's done a Bible. Anyway, one, <laughs> one in terms of kills. Experiencing gold, pretty much even a small gold advantage right now in favor of Superstars. All buffs coming back up in the jungle for Superstars relatively soon. Blue buffs on both sides, speed buff all up around the same time looking at it. And red buff soon after. Across the way though, it looks like SK Gaming going to have a little bit of a delayed time before they're going to get any of their jungle buffs available. So keep an eye on those, see if we see any invades coming out. Let, you know, honestly, Zeros just has a knack for playing characters that aren't viable. He's played Vulcan Jungle. Thanatos, post nerf Thor, I feel like I'm forgetting something, he just likes these things that don't seem viable and then it turns out that they are. Maybe he's just a good player crap. Have you ever considered that? Maybe he's just good. I've never met one of those. A good player? Yeah. But well, you are from NA. Hey That's true, yeah. So I've got to stop firing the shots, you just make them so easy for me. They're like, oh, I'm setting they're like you freebies up. all the time, is, I can't this help This is it. like blackmail except you do it to yourself. Trying to get me fired, I'm sure. Anyway, five minutes <laughs> in now, and it's pretty much even between these two teams. Solo of Gaia online for Badger in the solo lane up against Raw. There's going to be no deaths over there unless we see Optics or Captain Twig turn up to try and assist in that party that turn we see up. there. A lot of ward coverage going on from both teams, and at the moment, SK Gaming in great positions with their wards straight across the map, creating that line so they can get full vision of everything going on. But Optics hanging around, looking for the left hand side to, for the ultimate down the lane onto Reels, but Reels are very, very safe under the tower, not going to be available just yet. Yeah, Reels knows he needs to stay safe. Thor chilling in the middle lane, level 7, so has managed to get ahead of the opposing Mercury, who is still hovering around the left side of the jungle as Captain Twig is picking up some experience. That ultimate is uh, almost ready to be used, but Maniac is there with reels to just keep him company and hopefully keep him safe. Sayo will spot a ward off oh. Captain Twig, spotted out by Twig himself. Optics and, is uh, babysitting this lane at the moment in the duo. Yeah. He's really looking for the gag on reels, but he's been spotted by a ward. Raph is going to trade with Maniac a little bit. Nothing's going to come of it, though. And Optics really just wasted his time on any fellows. I guess he's not got much trouble to farm. Only back half he's available. Mid comes to you up relatively soon. Right ones will come up sooner than the less. So keep an eye to see how this fight trades out in the middle lane, because I expect a lot of rotations for them now. Honestly, though, killing back harpies on cooldown is very important for increasing your harm as a jungler. Because it's just it's it's inefficient not to have them down all the time. Maniac on the left hand side is gonna run into a bit of trouble with optics. Nice job of winning the major look and Thor can ult if he wants to, and he wants to. Going up in the air is Captain Twig. Zeros is trying to position for his ultimate. Captain Twig will miss the Thunder Duck, but there's a nice setup, and that's going to be a It's going directly under Sayo, who is stuck on a Tectonic Rift and uh, very happy about it. On his way in, Reels Apollo will land on the Yam and Captain Twig very low and will fall. Here comes Irapper on the backside as Reels picks up Yam. He does pick up Yamin, but can he get away? Looks like he will, because the body block onto Rafa by Optics by mistake caused him an issue. Rafa still wants to go to Maniac, but a very tanky target indeed. Left hand Harpies did go in favor of Superstars there as Psyo pressures oh, mid now onto Kulkulkan, who is going to be looking to go back to base relatively soon. An even trade once again, if you check gold and experience right now, gold in favor of one team experience in the other for the time being. It's backwards and forwards so far. Honestly, if that Kakulkan ultimate had connected, it likely would have been a very different fight, but Sayo was standing in the right place, on top of a wall. Indeed. Devour's got us online for Reels now, as well as for Yamin. Although Reels has a slight lead in terms of Devour's got us stacks right now, 20 to 35, respectively. Mercury has finished the Warrior Tabby after going back to base there as well, so he's working on those. Also got his Beads 1 online. So Rafa once again going aggressive onto Reels, forcing him back. Maniac going to hang around the area, and Optic spending a hell of a long time over in this left-hand side, trying to keep the pressure on this duo lane as much as possible. But in doing so, it opened Twig up for counter-initiation. 
negation or uh, opportunities as well. Badge in the solo lane going a Stone of Gaia first, which is going to mean that he's essentially completely safe from Emelito. We'll be able to sustain up as much as he wants. Doesn't really have much kill potential, but he can't really die the way he's building. Unless Mercury manages to pull off a really good gank. Twig trying to harass the right hand side, but he's covered. This ward's covering everyone. He's going to take to the sky now, and immediately Emelita knows about it. Optics on his way over as well. He has the Sonic Boom charge. He doesn't connect, but he does with Badger with the special limit. He's thrown into tower, but there's a silence from Badger. In response, Optics takes a lot of poke damage down as well. Twig wants to continue the chase, but good Celestial Beam from Emelito. And the ultimate from Sire is going to zone Captain Twig back into dangerous territory. Hogs the minions to make sure he doesn't get aggro. Badger trying to support, but Sayo is going to continue looking as Rafa gets taken down in mid as Sayo trades out with Badger. Yeah, it was, looks like Zeros and Maniac were able to take down Iraffer as Badger fell oh, left side. on the other side of the map. Yeah, left, left side, Hunter Bike going down, Reels X against Yamin, and Yamin. lots of creeps with So Beautiful goes through them all, and Yamin is going to fall. Reels getting revenge in the same matchup, and now he's going to go for the Gold Fury. Now they're going to go for the Gold Fury indeed, they managing to pick up Rafa as well in the mid lane and then Reels 1v1 in Yamin like that. It means the Gold Fury is going to be a free one unless Optics can do anything about it, he's going to be too late to the party and immediately back away. Hoppy's available in mid lane on the right hand side, left hand side relatively soon in about 10-15 seconds time. Rafa should be in a position for those, so checking in with the Golden Experience right now, Gold is in favour of SK Gaming for the first time. This game experience is still in their favour at 2000. Zeros is going to pull the left harpies and take them down with the help of Captain Twig. Nice and quick. Right Kukulkin in the middle lane will now be returning to base. Looking like he's going for a Warlock Sash after finishing those penetration boots. And seeing Warlock Sash, Emelito is sitting on 29 stacks, 0, zero 1. So he's going to be looking really good going into the game. Both hunters still exactly even in terms of itemization builds right now. Only difference is Reels does have those beads on line and that'll come down to that kill. He just got on Yamin and stacks slightly ahead as well. Should be reaching 60. Has just reached 60 rather. 20 stacks behind for Yamin as Emelito and Badger continue to do battle in this solo lane where the only action that ever happens is when the junglers turn up. Turn up. And uh, Captain Twig heading over towards the fire giant. Looks like he's more interested in middle lane. Uh, oh, he's not. Solo lane? He's interested in solo, but he sat on wards once again, so there'll probably be a reinitiation. Sire's already rotating around there, throws a meatball onto Twig. Backfire doesn't connect, and oh, Optics no. there as well. Twig's in trouble here, because the blink over the wall from Rafa was good as well, but immediately the beads and the hammer, and then the ult with the snipe connected as well. But he's going to get out of time. Maybe Maniac blinks in there. He's the one that's going to take the brunt of damage. He's going to fall down to Optic. Zeros need to watch his position, because Yami's around the back now. With the Vulcan ult coming in, that's going to connect and do a whole ton of damage. But can Emelito find the kill, or will he find his own sacrificial life? One tower here is enough. Reels is looking the wrong way. He's not seen them yet. Badger brings it down with a chopping axe. And now Rafa's going to get chased on to thanks to the moves from Reels. Good freeze from Rafa. Has to juke out from the minions. Badger should give up this, not give up this chase though as he's got the axe available. One more will do it. Yeah. Oh, Thunderstrike connects. Oh. Badger able to find the kill as Reels is fending off two in the middle lane. With the help of his life steal, he's going to be able to sustain up and be just fine. As Twig is in the left jungle, doesn't have his ultimate, but he could still flank with a wall. Spots out optics and realizes that he probably doesn't want to be here but will hit him with the hammer that's uh that's a big hit for a uh, thor that was leveling that second crazy fires real continues to put the pressure on mid lane try to poke down side who's very low mana does eat that one to the face there in the tornado so the whirlwind does not connect for now he's gonna clear out that minion wave as it comes in though yeah good beads from Sayo just to avoid that whirlwind uh, removing you know, the slow at the, just the right time. Do you know how often it is that I've had to cast called Corkin since he's been remade? So often that I can't even remember the ones called Zephyr instead of Squall. That's how often I had to go and check. I, That's I how good this that. god is, Kret. That's how good this he's god great. is. It gets played so he's much so that you don't darkness. even know it's called Zephyr. At least yeah, and it's, it's called uh, Slipstream for his too. I did not know that. It's called the Wiggle Wiggle Wiggle. It'll always be known as the Wiggle Wiggle. Yeah, Wiggle Wiggle Wiggle, wiggle yeah. Do, 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 do. Middle Harpy's gonna spawn very soon. Raph is in position on the left hand side. Sile farming up this mid lane as well. Looks like we might see an even split. Right side going for SK Gaming here, but Sile's gonna come over and try and contest. Is he gonna be able to find it? Oh, I think my meatball got one. I think he stole one away. Might have. Uh, on the left hand side, there's gonna be a Mercury ult connecting onto Maniac, who's hiding himself in a lot of trouble. Will knock up the Mercury reels Thor's in up. the mirror, but doesn't take too much damage. Thor is up and will come down. Optics is gonna die to reels. Now, Yamin 
looking for Maniac, but slowed down by the wall with that stun. Maniac might not be able to get under the tower as Raffer is going to just beat him down the sneeze. Gets the kill, but Raffer does not have a way out. He is stuck between a tower, a tower, team's coming. and SK Gaming. His team is on the way. Emilito is here, but Badge is hot on his tail. Vulcan ult coming through will Ooh. not quite connect. and. Looks like Twig's gonna get Raffer eventually. I don't think so, because Twig's running low on mana here, and that wall's gonna access deny him to that, to that option. But Zeros does drop Emelito, who was coming to support me, both from Sayo. Does connect, so does backfire, but not enough damage to kill Zeros. And now Sayo, surrounded by three members, four members if need. The Zephyr does not connect. He dives the tower, looking for the last hit on Zeros, but Zeros baits long and hard enough to survive and allow SK Gaming to take another kill under their belt. I don't know, man. Zeros is looking really good this game. His player damage isn't, though. His player oh, really? damage is only 4,000. Player damage? Yeah, how good is he looking now? You don't need player viable. damage! You don't need player damage to do well. He's, he can win without it. Ymir nearly has more player damage. Yeah, but Ymir's OP! Ymir does so much damage. Okay, okay, let's let's put it this way then. Sylvanas is 900 damage less than Kul Kulkan right now. Yeah, but Sylvanas has been hitting those AoE ultimates. They hit for like 500. Um, how much does the, the whirlwind hit for? Nothing! That's why, because like he doesn't stay on the target anymore. That's the issue. 40 <laughs> minutes in, the gold fury due to spawn now, as I say that. Speed buff gets taken down by Optics right now. Red buff due to spawn on their side as well for Soup A Stars one more time very soon. So we will see a full buffed up team on Superstars. Is this gold fury has already been started by SK Gaming here? Oh, Twig! Oh, Twig in trouble and will fall to Sayo there. But gold fury. Oh, that's Spirit Tempest is not getting, or sorry, Spirit of Nine Winds is not going to get. Now, Maniac and Badger on the objective. Optics around the backside is going to get with a crit. The Vulcan ult comes through. SK Gaming able to take the Gold Fury right before Maniac dies. His Rapper is not in position. Reels can run for his life, but he finds a wall. Realize he needs to call in the cavalry as the help helicopter comes up and gets him out. Zeros will fall to Yemen. Badger is going to run away. SK Gaming lost a lot of lives for that Gold Fury. They did, but now they might have to get some pressure on mid lane or consider the fire giant. I think mid lane is going to be the better option in all honesty. 15 minutes in, and Melito going to tank this one up with his heals that allow the minions to do the pressure as well. Clear out the wave. Badger can only really stand and watch here, wait for his axe to come on cooldown so he can throw it out one more time to clear. Doesn't manage to find it though. Tier 1 tower falls in mid lane and trade for that gold fury. You know, if any team can do a 15 minute fire giant, it actually is the superstars lineup because Ymir, Ra, Mercury, Vulcan, all incredible against objectives. But they're just going to go for this tower instead. Maybe a, a, you know, a fire giant in a minute or so, just trying to sneak that out. But uh, going for the jungle and going for the mid and solo lane tower seems like the better option overall. The objectives, really, really good decisions from superstars there. They brought themselves back into this one nicely. It's 10 to 8 in terms of kills, and those two towers have opened up the map for them. Sayo in mid lane, though, trading with Captain Twig, his normal mid lane nemesis he'd expect to face in this situation. But with zeros in the background, that jungle called Kulkan, not really. It's lane called Kulkan. There's the damage for you, though. OP! Okay. Like he, he, he is OP confirmed. What a great character. Indeed. Badger, though, trading off with Emelito once again this round side. Maniac's in a good position to deal with issues there if he so does get rotated on him. We was trying to counter jungle a little bit here. Nice pull on that Emelito, but unfortunately pulling him out of the Thunder Call. Going into the uh, ultimate from Shock, not going to do too much. But on the left hand side, Reels caught out. Going to start running away. Sonic Boom does not connect. Spirit Nothing 9 connects. wins is going to create oh. some room, but now Zeros doesn't quite have a way out as Thor comes back in along with Reels. They're going to re-engage and Optics is taking down real quick. Yam is very low and will die to an auto-attack from Captain Twig. It's just Raffer left, but he's in a whirlwind and he will fall. No, he no, won't, because Whirlwind does no Whirlwind damage, so Reels has to die Yo, the tower Reels up for so beautiful. All the other attacks, which he I can't find, Twigs around the side. Gonna try and pick him up with the Berserker Barrage. Melito comes back to defend the tower, he's gonna fall too. And delayed the aside because Sayo is back online now, but that tier 1 tower falls in mid lane, 15 to 8. And the members of SK Gaming, they're looking towards the Fire Giant, but they're a bit low on HP here. Risky. And it's also 17 minutes in, Vulcan I on. don't think they have the damage to Vulcan do this. On. Vulcan. Oh. Yeah. Sayo, living the dream. Living the dream. Don't kill the only dream. hit the tanks. It's not going to happen. Yeah, that Vulcan ult actually probably helped SK more than it hurt them as the Fire Giant will go down to SK Gaming 17 minutes and 40 seconds in Sayo. Now in a bit of an awkward position, Twig doesn't have that much mana and does have to be care. careful. 
He just no, kept he running at him without fear, but now Optix is here. He needs to be really careful. Special delivery does not connect. He gets in range for the major look, but it only hits Reels and then Badger. And Reels, his support brings him down as he just bit off a little bit more than he could chew. And now SK Gaming going to retreat, lick their wounds a little bit while they heal up, get some gold purchases online, and start to take down some of these towers. That's exactly what they need to do is... Oh, they've got five towers to take on top of the three Phoenixes, so... Where do you think the push starts? Left lane. Let's left, left lane? Left. Let's go All right, left. I like left lane. Well, Are you left-handed? Go Furies up. No, I'm not left-handed. I wish. Good. I think it's so much easier. One minute, 20 seconds remain to the Go Furies up. So going for the left-hand lane means they're going to get the Phoenix furthest away from the Fire Giant as well. They can rotate back and pick up the Go Fury as well if they do manage to keep the push going nicely. But they kind of split up at the moment. You can see Badger still trying to split push right-hand side. Three members of SK in mid lane. Might catch out Sayo, who's out of position here a little bit. He's going to get ulted as well by four is the root to land from Maniac. There's the dunk down. The Aegis is going to buy him a few seconds. But with Badger coming in with that silence, that's going to secure it. Zeros picks up the kill with the Zephyr. Tornado so Whirlwind does not connect on Optics there as he special delivers out. But Emilito gets caught again. Yeah, Emilito in a lot of trouble and will fall thanks to Captain Twig, who is currently sitting 4 2 and 7. Not quite as good as his performance last game. It's not too bad either. Rafa under tower in a lot of trouble. Spirit of the Nine wins. Will connect. Knock him out. Back in the tornado. OP, dude. OP. Meanwhile, Reels dueling with Yami in this left-hand lane, trying to keep the pressure on this side of the map. As they continue to push this right-hand side, Optics trying to split push to victory with that minion wave, but Captain Twig's well aware of what's going on there, so he's trying to keep on underway. Twig's actually tries to use the double tap, but doesn't manage to find it. Optics might find this tier 2 tower. Back to the help of this minion wave. No, he I don't know. I think he's going to have some trouble up against Twig here as Thor is just so mobile unless he misses his abilities. Berserker Barrage used after B is just to make sure it 100% connects. His real is able to take a tower on the left-hand side. Three levels up over on her is really the threshold where Apollo is not as good of a duelist as on her. I think everyone can agree with that. But when you have three levels, you're far enough ahead that you win on her, you beat on her in dueling, which means you're almost impossible to deal with as a split pusher. And now going aggressive with the ultimate, jumping away is the Emin. Will drop the pill, but it's not getting too much with the sprint, and Reels just unloading the auto attacks, using the Mesmerize to secure the kill, and a Maniac going to show up for the assist. He went for the steal then, did Maniac. Couldn't find it though. But they're going to get a Titi to on the left hand side now. Rafa defending with Emilito in mid lane as Badger continues to pressure this one. Kokokan's on his way back to help support that action. Tier 2 tower left does fall down. That's only one tier 2 left remaining with Maniac for rotating on the back. They need to push themselves in mid. Yeah, they do. Mid lane, lots of damage coming out from Emilito's snipe, though. He could have done a little bit more if it wasn't on the two tankiest targets on the team. Split pushing left lane is Reels, and he's going to get down that Phoenix before Sile can fully respond. It's a shock, and a Sylvanas versus the world, but Kalkin is on his way in. Well, and Optic's doing good work. Actually, uses special delivery, catches zeros on the backside, forcing him into a celestial beam, but not too much damage. Optic uses the bees to try and buy himself a bit of time from the CC. Still gonna fall down. Reels on the backside, does find Emilito and back away before the backfire connects from Sayo. Groups up with his teammates one more time as this four man army continues to march on forward. Rafa blinks into a tornado and blinks forward, sorry, faces backwards. The Sayo ult does not connect with anyone. Reels picks up another kill and they still continue the pressure. Oh, blinking in, or rather, Tempesting in is Badger. He's on to Sai with Yemen trying to reposition the whirlwind. Will not connect, but Reel certainly will as Sai was forced out. Forced down, Reel's able to take that kill. And now Desert Fury trying to trying to force back SK Gaming, but it's not going to. Great impale. Reel's under Phoenix and gonna have to fall back, but Zeros with the Zephyr. Reels gets the kill, but it's all thanks to Kukulkin. What a great character. Meanwhile, Badger is taking down the tier two time in the middle lane. That's the last tier two available. Phoenix on the left is down. They're all going to back away for the Gold Fury now. And the Fire Giant online soon. 22,000 experience lead now for SK Gaming. That's 1,000 experience gain per minute. Yes, it is, and that is that is a lot of experience. That's a lot. That's 200 per player advantage per minute. Says Zeros is very low on health. Needs to be incredibly careful as Optic does have a Sonic Boom and can go all the way through the jungle. But it's Captain Twig whose sights are being set on Great Wall. He's going to go into the Thor alt because, and this is a throwback, when in doubt, Shing out. 
Shing in on Shing Emilito. In. Emilito goes Shing did on for the beat. Stops the frost breath. So Twig does get the double tap up. Looking for the last bit of damage up to Emilito. The Berserker Barrage will do it. Rafa did use his ultimate to try and buy some time of the shots of ice, but not enough overall. Now Rafa is on the backside. Captain Twig taunting to victory in the mid lane against Rafa as Rafa as Optics gets chased down and got to fall to his wisp. wisp death. Oh my the god. The wispy death. The wispy it, it death. It literally did like 16 damage a second. That was painful. And Reels was there just to watch it and like, oh. I think As he just got mad he didn't get that kill, honestly. As a heads up, Kret, one thing to oh. note about your favorite god called Culkin and how OP he is. He's 4-1 and 12. Is OP. He's 4-1 and 12 right now, I'd like to point out. Emelito, 6, sorry, 0 and 6. However, Emelito still done more damage than Cole Culkin. Emelito's really good. Emelito's a world-class player. I'm just saying. That's a, that's a level 17 raw. Who's gone yeah, but items. I mean, isn't Kukulkin really Who's more of a support items? character? I don't know. Maybe he is now. Maybe that's the new transition. Support, guys. Support if, you wanna, if you want to try support Kukulkin, go into your North American games tomorrow. Give it a go. Wait till Kret's queued up. I'm sure he will. Or Wolfie. It. Especially Wolfie. Especially Wolfie. Raph is getting caught out a little bit there, surrounded by four members. He's going to be tanky enough to survive that tornado for now. But Reels is taken to the sky to try and find the dunk down on him. Can Rafa live? No, he cannot. Reels executes with the Gratata as the rest of the team start to group up on mid lane looking for this Phoenix. Yeah, Reels in left hand side diving, he's got mini to help him out. Sire will use an Aegis to buy some time. Reels able to avoid that knockback, but not the one from the Impale. Yamin uses beads, and it's gonna help get him out as Badger goes in, but Badger doesn't have enough damage to his build to really threaten. Nice Sonic Boom coming through, but going out the backside is Optics, and Mid Phoenix will fall to a lone Captain Twig, just swinging, swinging, swinging with his hammer. Great Tectonic Rift, and Bolito could be caught out. Could be caught out of position here. Meanwhile, Zeros is dueling with Optics with that amazing amount of damage Zeros can land. With this god, the Zephyr does not connect for now. Otherwise, that would have been a one-shot. Anyway, the rest of the team still zoning out. The most part of the top captain Twig very low has to jump to his hammer. He's getting chased down by Rafa. The wall did almost catch him out of position. But with the Phoenix respawning, this could be a potential spot for superstars to get back into it. They find Maniac. But Twig comes in. Berserker Barrage. Spirit of the Nine Wilt hits nobody again. But he still finds himself a kill to Zeros. And this could be the beginning of the end as the surrender vote comes out. And SK Gaming march on to the tight. Yeah, the Titan has been pulled and will quickly hit 50% health going down rapidly. Trying to do something as Optics in the middle lane, but he's not even going to be able to kill Reels X. Superstars will fall in game 2, 33 to 10, 25 minutes. SK Gaming wins 2 0. SK Gaming wins 2 0 in this weekly one shot tournament. And that's it from us today. However, next on your screens shortly should be the glorious DM Brandon and Scott Gandhi as they will be bringing you some action from the Brazilian tournament that took place this weekend. We have English commentary for you guys to enjoy and entertain and get to see which American teams... commentary. English. Well, yeah, that's a good point. We'll call it American. They you speak guys, American, really. You guys do not speak English. I'll no. tell you that much. How very dare you. Anyway, that is the end from myself and Crep, Moji in production, and everybody else here who works behind the scenes to keep this one going. Thanks to the admins as well and all the players for taking part. We will be back probably next week. Who knows? You never know with these tournaments. They come up kind of spontaneously, as do we. Anyway, take care. Look after yourselves and enjoy the Brazil tournament, which should be on your screens a little bit later.